Hello guys, I've created this mini series of lessons to teach you how to create. I'm going to show you the finished art, the confidence, the mandala of confidence. But in this class, we're just going to sketch in pencil, just with simple pencil and a paper. Uh, but I wanted to tell you something. Before we even draw a mandala, there's a step that we have to do first, that we think and concentrate ourselves in the purpose of this mandala. You can just go and draw a mandala for fun, but it's nice when you create one with a purpose. Why? Because then you focus your energy, your energy in that purpose, and while we're sketching, we're thinking about that purpose. And then we start vibrating according to the purpose. So now this is an invite to vibrate yourself, to have this energy um, and to let flourish the sense of confidence. You know that when we're playing with a kid and we just throw it in the air and then we catch the baby. Why is the baby laughing? Uh, just because the baby knows or the little kid knows, knows that somebody's gonna grab him in the air, the person is not gonna just let him down and, and hit to the ground. He knows or she knows that he's gonna be catched up in the air and that's confidence. So I am inviting you to vibrate uh, along with confidence. We are going through a very difficult time now. We need to be confined at homes and that might create a shyly and a sense of, you know, uh, being a sense of scare, being scared about the unknown result of this all. And that influences badly our mind, our vibration, and even our immunology system. So I'm inviting you to vibrate differently in this confidence energy. Everything's going to be fine. So, um, as I said, we're going to sketch this in the first class and while we sketch, we think of confidence. So, let's get to work. So, we're going to be working on a, on a squared paper and the first thing we need to do is to find the center of the paper. Since it is squared, it is easier to do that. So we just take the ruler from the left corner, uh, up, upper left corner to the down right corner, and we just draw a line. It doesn't have to be hard, just a gentle line. And then we do that in the opposite corners, from the upper uh, right corner to the um, down um, left corner and then bottom left cor left corner and then we have just got the right, the center of them and that but i want to divide this like a pizza in eight different eight uh equal uh pieces so there are several ways to do that but I, i'm gonna show you two different ones i'm gonna uh from the center to one of the lines diagonal lines I'm gonna mark on centimeter five and to the one beside also on the fifth centimeter. And then I'm gonna find the distance between these two uh, marks that I've made and it turns out to be seven. So half of seven is 3.5 centimeters and then to draw a line I need two those dots so I can draw a line from this half mark that I've made uh, with the center mark and then I make this vertical line so um, now I have divided myself uh, into six pieces but now I need to make a horizontal line to make that division. So again, I 
from the center I place the ruler like this aligned with zero I mark also five centimeters and then the distance between these two points should be also seven half of it is 3.5 centimeters as you can see and then I can draw the horizontal line and I've got two divide already my squared paper in eight equal parts that I am going to use to draw the mandala. Now this part is very intuitive, intuitive, uh, but I can show you. You can uh, the circumference has 360 degrees divided by by eight would give me eight pieces of 45 degrees each so uh, once I've found actually found the diagonal first so I place the transporter just like this aligning zero with the center of the mandala and with the 90 degrees in the diagonal line and then I can my mark 45 degrees 90 and 135 degrees and so on uh, just use the method that it's easier for you so now it comes the intuitive part that I was going to say talk about and we need to make these circles to start drawing our mandala and this is intuitively I'm going just to take mark make marks on the two second centimeter through 3.5 centimeters 5.5 centimeters 9.5 centimeters and 10 0.5 centimeters this is very intuitively of course I've desi designed already the mandala so I know the distances but uh, you can make marks as you like every centimeter then I use this compass that has this uh, wheel that you know it's like a break so I'm gonna put the metal uh, um, the point, the, me the metal here in the middle and I'm going to adjust um, the compass to the marks that I've made. The first one is two centimeters and then I make a circle then I open a little bit more for 3.5 centimeters um, oops sorry um, I open a little bit more and then for 5.5 centimeters also I open a little bit more um, and then I open a lot for 9.5 centimeters I need like a white space um, to make the design that I made for for this mandala and then uh, last I made a mark for 10.5 centimeters but I don't think with the size of the paper I can make a mark in the whole paper there will be parts in which I cannot just mark the the complete circle so I think I'm going to draw uh, I don't know like 8.5 centimeters maybe a little bit inside another circle so to summarize the circles are in 2 centimeters 3.5 5.5 8.5 5 .5 and 9.5 so let's start drawing the center of uh, the mandala. So um, I think about the flourishing of the confidence. Um, so I'm gonna start drawing petals. Um, don't worry if ones are thin, others are fat. This is just practice. And don't forget this is way too too fat so I'm gonna just fix this is just a matter of erasing if you make mistakes so remember this middle line we have here um, 
helps me check how thick the petal is. So let's keep drawing freely, let's practice and then we check which one, which petals we have to improve. So now I pretend to make a different kind of petal. From the top part of this petal, I will go with a curvy line to the top of this circle. I skip one petal and connect to the next petal. This one is the one that I skip. So I'm going to keep drawing like this. It's like a triangle, but a little bit curvy. Um, Yes, and I'm gonna do this around this circle and um, I keep connecting petals like this and the funny part is that I've made a little triangle here so let's keep going on and now um, look how it looks, it looks beautiful. So I keep thinking on the flourishing of the confidence in our hearts and we have, I'm aware of this section of the circle and then I intend to divide this more or less in three parts just by observation, I don't have to make perfect angles just simple observation and from this line from this line I'm gonna make three petals in each section of the circle one of them will be fat others thin just allow yourself to make mistakes and enjoy the process forget about perfection what matters here is that you're practicing observation is that you are uh, designing you're balancing right and left uh, hemispheres of the brain and you have to have fun so let's keep sketching I'm using this plate but you can use like a tea uh, plate the, the, the tea for you know the max for the tea <laughs> um, they have a plate use that as a reference then I made nor a mark for four um, north south east and west and I am just going to use this uh, division line as a reference for a four point star like this I just align the plate with the top parts of the circle as high as I want and I draw to the bottom parts that is connects with the last layer of petals that I've made I like number four because according to numerology it's a number of achievements structure um, and well this has to give us structure to to have confidence structure in our our minds to to be certain that everything's going to be good and that we are going to achieve whereas our goals are in life so i keep sketching as you can see it's like a four uh, point uh, star uh, well I over sketch here over the petal but it's fine then I'm gonna make this north uh, west or east uh, south and and west marks and then I'm going to make half a star I'm not gonna get to to the whole bottom because I want to give it the sensation that it is a four a point new star but that is behind the whole bunch of flowers and 
the last uh, four um, four points star that I need. So it's like behind it all. It's gonna give give like a three dimension uh, sensation when we color it, and it's gonna look nice. And last uh, point of the or the last leg of this this star. And then we're gonna make a detail on the top because I maybe too pointy. Then to to soften a little to make it smoother. Then we make this tiny petal just like this. Uh, I think one of my extremes is higher than the others, but that's okay. That's fully allowed. So. Um, I'm gonna make these little like leaves or small petals and we're on for the next part of, of the mat. Look how beautiful it looks. So now um, I'm going to make here in the middle some sort of lotus flower and I make like a petal, not so rounded, um, and I get familiar with it, I make it smooth, don't press the pencil that hard, and then I'm going to open the flower with another petal to the right and a similar petal to the left, and then I make another petal that it's like on top of the last one on each side this side it's like closer to the star than the others we're gonna repeat the same in all the the spaces we have here um, I'm just going to um, to erase this and then on top of that I'm gonna make as like a window Indian window um, that looks beautiful uh, and I'm gonna repeat that in all the gaps spaces that I have here so again uh, I have an imaginary line here I'm making this connection and then I'm gonna open other petals to the right and to the left to keep symmetry and let's keep our sketch enjoy Well, we are almost done here and the last thing that I want to do, it's all about flowers, is to start drawing little petals just like this that are going to be um, the last petals that we're going to draw. And just keep going, enjoy, they don't have to be all perfect. So we have reached the final uh, part. I hope you have enjoyed the sketching and see you next week in the coloring part of the Confidence Mandala. Thank you, bye.